Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about a new synopsis, and this is going to be the episode 17 synopsis. Also, we've got some new news as in regards to what's happening in the Season 4 finale for Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to be talking about this finale thing because it's kind of exciting but we haven't seen him yet and I'm talking about one specific person and that is Lex Luthor so he's officially returning so that being John Cryer for the season finale so this is what was said in an interview I don't know where the interview is actually from but I'm sure we can find it online somewhere I was just sent a snippet of it on Twitter so it goes in how many episodes this season are you going to appear? He says, just three. I've shot two, and then I'm doing the big season finale, and full stop, that's it. So, he's going to be doing episode 15, that's next episode. Episode 16, the episode after, the House of L, with an L, not E-L. And then he's doing the big season finale, as he says. So, that's a big reveal. So, I think what they're setting up, and also this synopsis we're going to be breaking down for episode 17 ties heavily into what's happening with Lex this episode and next episode obviously as well so 15 and 16 so I think it all ties to the finale so we'll talk about the finale in a sec and how this can all link up but we're first off going to talk about well secondly we're going to talk about this synopsis because it ties all into Lex alright so this is how the episode 17 synopsis goes alright so Supergirl faces her biggest challenge yet. Supergirl must deal with the destructive aftermath of Lex's nefarious plans. Shocked at what Lex has created, Supergirl faces her biggest challenge yet. Okay, so this is all about Lex, but he's not going to be in this episode. And this episode is titled All About Eve, and we'll go over the title a bit later. And so, essentially what the synopsis teases is... The what's going to come of the aftermath of what actually happened in those two episodes so 15 16 we'll see them in the next couple of weeks and so i think whatever his plans are we know from the trailer he plans to you know change the sun to a red sun to see if supergirl can bleed and so i believe what's happening because they teased this earlier in the season and melissa teased this recently red daughter is going to come and i believe this is the big red daughter episode melissa has been teasing so episode 17 and i think this is all going to tie in i think the aftermath is going to be the sort of the world is you know fragile and supergirl is going to be fragile after you know the red sun comes and you know they probably have sorted it out by now but then if you remember back, like way back in the start of season four, there was that scene with Red Daughter in Russia, and I believe one of the officers said, or he was on the phone to someone, like when the last time, maybe it was when Red Daughter was actually lying on her bed, someone, they called someone essentially, and lots of people were theorizing it was Lex Luthor, and I believe it's probably Lex Luthor or one of his associates that, you know, the person in Russia was calling because you know, she, he's been planning this, apparently he's been sort of weaving things around, and so maybe it was his plan to get Red Daughter when he found out that Red Daughter existed, you know, the Russians had a version of Supergirl that he could use it for his own good, and so if, you know, what we're going on is that Red Daughter is supposed to be the main villain of the season, again, we've only had like maybe three minutes of screen time in total of her this season, so an extremely slow burn build up but it's all sort of going to come together I believe in this episode when we're probably going to see her and then as we head towards the finale I think when Lex returns you know the aftermath of what his plans were I think it's going to link into Red Daughter and that's when Lex will return and you know Red Daughter's defeated and so on so I'm kind of at the moment kind of questioning what exactly is happening because we didn't expect Red Daughter to take this long to actually come into fruition, and we don't have too many episodes. So, if episode 17 is the Red Daughter episode, that means we only have 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So, that's seven episodes. That's not very long at all. So, they're going to have to sort of amp it all up in this one episode to, you know, 
explain what's happening, you know, the origins of her, and as it says in the synopsis, in this episode, Supergirl faces her biggest challenge yet. There is no way on earth this is Agent Liberty, or this is the President, or anyone, or Manchester Black, because they aren't, like, the biggest threats to her, because she could, you know, destroy them really, really easily, and so her troubles this season have been relatively simple and down to earth but it's been more on like a political level of what she can and cannot do so she can't literally just you know take agent liberty and just throw him into the sun or something because again that would go against you know what's happening and so on but her biggest challenge yet is most definitely going to be red daughter and i'm about 99 percent certain this is the massive red daughter episode you know, this synopsis really, really teases it, and so, with the episode being titled All About Eve, this is a film, I've actually never seen the film, there's a play in London right now, and um, I believe Lily James is on it, so, I don't know the significance of it, but I know it's something to do with Broadway, and her being an understudy, and taking over from this other girl, so, again, I have to emphasise, I haven't seen the film, but reading the plot synopsis, it's all about, you know, taking over and essentially the two identities of, you know, an understudy if you haven't been to Broadway or the West End. Essentially an understudy is someone who replaces the main actor when the main actor can't be there. So I think in regards to Supergirl as to how this is going to play in is the idea of this Red Daughter person looking exactly like Supergirl and being sort of this understudy-like sort of character where she could essentially pretend to be Supergirl if she dressed up in Supergirl's gear, no one would notice apart from Supergirl and her friends. I guess it's sort of a bit similar to Red Kryptonite Supergirl because only her friends could actually tell and the outside world, you know, they were like, oh my god, this is Supergirl, she's gone evil or something like that. So if she, you know, comes and she pretends to be Supergirl or even is in this different suit, she could essentially take her place and I think that's where the title sort of references all about Eve for this episode so again this is episode 17 so this is not too far off we've got 15 16 those are the Lex Luthor episodes then we've got 17 which we'll tackle with the aftermath of Lex's plans which again we don't really know the full scale of but we know it's something to do with creating Red Sun and I believe it's all gonna tie in to Lex and Red Daughter as this episode probably is going to be but I have to emphasize again this is just speculation really because again this is unconfirmed that Red Daughter's episode is this specific one but I know they've shot it already so just quickly before we end this video the final thing that I wanted to talk about is in regards to episode 16 which is again the Lex Luthor episode and what John Cryer has said about the episode because he gives away something kind of big and we know from the synopsis, it's a lot of flashbacks of how John Cryer's Lex Luthor has sort of been orchestrating thing over the last two years. So we're going to get flashbacks to different parts of the show. So maybe we get some flashbacks to returning characters, maybe like Monel, Maggie, Wynn, Cat Grant, and so on. So this is what John Cryer had to say about that episode. So he says, I hope you're suitably impressed. So this was in regards to the question. Now, just a warning. The second episode is all flashbacks about Luth about what Luthor's been up to for the last few years. So if you haven't been watching the show it will make no sense. So this is very, very exciting to me that most of the episode is going to be all in flashbacks to quote him. So in the wake of his return, the show is going to actually focus heavily on the way he's been specifically organizing this and I think it will link into the All About Eve episode seventeen episode with Red Daughter. But, again, I think the concept of doing a flashback episode is very exciting because we can sort of reminisce on the past few seasons. So, season 1, season 2, season 3. I'm guessing it's going to be more season 2 and more season 3. So, maybe we get to see, you know, Rain again and some other people, which will be very, very nice for us fans. I think it will be a sort of nice fan episode for us. But, I think it will definitely further on the plot from what's happening in episode 15. So... I'm excited to see Lex Luthor because I think he has a great voice. I think his voice sort of 
fits the image of Lex Luthor. I don't know about his beard, but again, that's just me being a bit nitpicky on, you know, his appearance. I'm sure John's great. I really haven't seen him in anything. I haven't even seen him in that Superman sequel, but I have faith in Supergirl. I have faith in the show, and I think this is going to be really good, and I'm excited to see him, you know, in these two episodes. Maybe he will shine. Maybe he won't be so good, but we'll have to wait and see. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at the DCTV Show, also on Instagram at the DCTV Show because I'm really active there if you're new around here. So that would be really nice. Maybe if you want to send in some video suggestions like what you want me to make, do you have any theories or ideas, let me know right over there or in the comments down below. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.